OK, I've already recorded the main channel video for the design and assembly of this peripherals backplane. I did show the PCB that fits in this gap, but this is me just editing together the footage of designing that. So let's have a quick look at what I did in the EDA and then the soldering. OK, so I'm going to create a stub schematic for I.O. And we want to duplicate all of these components onto it. So that's the inputs we've got to work with. I've not found a way of making changes like this map on top of what was there. If I save that and update the PCB, the duplicates will disappear and we will have a final board layout. Now, crazy idea. I'm going to create a temporary version of this. And I'm going to stick an oscillator on it. OK, so the idea behind this as a temporary board is simply give me a way of connecting an oscillator in until I've got the UART connected in with a new PCB. Also gives me the connections I need to just work on the IO subsystem until I've uh, finished off the breadboard version and then we can stick a final one in here. Now what colour should it be? I don't want to make it blue because that will look like the whole back plane's finished and won't give us a sense of accomplishment when we put the final one in. But it's kind of a temporary interconnect, so that would match the purple boards we've got. That's going to be OK. Now this is just headers, no components, so it should be very straightforward to solder. Now it's not the right crystal, but I'm just hoping to use one oscillator to hold the pins in place. So when we use a stack of free PCBs to line up the pin headers like this, it uh, should be the case that the PCB drops on top. Nice. Not bad. Now for these headers, I want to try doing something similar, but in reverse. This two pin one isn't very well aligned, so I'm going to stick some extra solder on, which should make it easier to melt them both at the same time.
That'll do. This doesn't seem like very much of a board, but it does provide some crucial connections up for us to be able to simplify connecting into the remaining space. It's quite valuable to be able to make up very simple boards like this very quickly. This costs what, two dollars for the board and a few of these pin headers doesn't really cost very much. So it makes life an awful lot easier for us. And here's the little board. Now, I'm looking forward to having the final board in this space, but what's really good about doing one of these temporary boards is I've now got all of the connectors around the edge of it assigned into a piece of design. So when I design the final PCB for the IO subsystem, I'm gonna have a high degree of confidence that it's just gonna drop straight in. Hope you found this interesting. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.